All right, President Trump awarding legendary runner Jim Ryan the nation's highest civilian honor, the Medal of Freedom. A giant of American athletics, a dedicated public servant, and a man of charity, generosity, and faith. He's a great man, actually. Jim, uh, thank you so much for your unfailing devotion to our country, and congratulations on a lifetime of incredible success. The former Republican congressman and three-time Olympian made a name for himself early on in his career as the first high school athlete to run a mile in under four minutes. He joins us now along with his son. You know him, American Majority CEO and friend of the show, Ned Ryan, to reflect on this great honor. The Ryans with us this morning. It's an honor to have you both. Congressman, I'll, I'll start with you. Thank you for choosing us as your first interview since that amazing day yesterday. Share what it was, just reflect on that moment at the White House yesterday. Well, it was very special, Pete. Thank you for having me on. Of and course. I, it was a great opportunity to reflect on a very simple prayer, prayed by a junior high boy who had been cut from every athletic team he tried out for, including the <laughs> church baseball team. Uh, I'd go to bed at night and I'd say, Dear God, uh, my resume is not good. I'd, I'd like it to be something. I feel like you've got a plan for my life. And by the way, if you could show up in sports, I'd really appreciate it. And I'd say good night and go to sleep. And boy, did he show up. Uh, as you <laughs> mentioned, a, a lot of wonderful things. And then yesterday, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, a great honor, and I am very grateful for that. Jim, cut from the church baseball team. Uh, you you <laughs> rebounded nicely, uh, to, to, put it, to put it kindly. But you talked a little bit also about wearing the stars and stripes of our nation as an Olympian uh, and kind of the moment we're in right now. To reflect on an authentically American life that you've lived. It's, it was such a privilege uh, to be on three different Olympic teams, to wear those colors, know that you're representing your country and wanting to do it in a way that would be honoring and you could express your pride. And so uh, it was just, I don't know how to say it any other way other than uh, a really great opportunity to let the light shine on this yeah. fabulous country we have, which is what President Trump is doing. Amen. Uh, all right, Ned, we're all proud of our pops, uh, but I got to believe right. uh, when you're sitting there watching him get this honor, what an amazing feeling as a son. Oh, it was incredible, Pete. I mean, you think about it. I mean, back in the 1960s, track and field's a huge deal. The, the premier event is the mile, and you had this young kid from Wichita, like a Kansas whirlwind, <laughs> and he breaks the four-minute mile in high school and, and breaks the world record at the age of 19 by, by multiple seconds, becomes number one in the world, becomes a legend, becomes an icon, and, and truly a hero to generations of people. And they would, people always ask me, you know, what was it like to have Jim Ryan as your father? And I would always tell them, well, he's my dad. Yeah. And it really wasn't probably until 11 or 12 that it kind of clicked, hey, this guy's kind of famous. <laughs> but I tell people all the time that the, the honest, decent, kind, grateful, humble person you see in public, that's who he is in private. And he's taught me so many lessons. Be honest, be humble, be kind. You know, which I struggle with sometimes, Pete. I'm very pugilistic on TV, but it's aspirational. <laughs> but also perspective. I mean, this is one of the great things about my dad. He was the number one in the world. And I tell people this all the time, Pete. Of all the people in the world that, that walk the halls of Congress, that have been in Congress, that are in D.C., there's very few people of them that can say, I was absolutely the number one best in, in mm. the billions of people. I was truly number one at what I did. My dad could do that, but he was kind and honest and gracious. Wow. But he had perspective. And the thing about that he always tells people is this, pursue greatness. Pursue something that you think exceeds your grasp. But remember in that pursuit, you're doing it for God's glory, right? That's the eternal perspective. The applause of men fades, but the word of God is forever. And that's one of the most important lessons he's taught me. All right, Jim, you're uh, obviously uh, a great father as well. Uh, and we love Ned, love having him on the show. I at this moment, 2020, where we are as a country with an election, uh, ahead of us and, and, and so much surrounding us. What's your message as a leader in this country to our country? Well, to dream big, and that would fit in well with our country. Uh, President Trump has brought us to another level of appreciation. There's conflict going on, but look to the future. My coach, Coach Timmons, uh, challenged me when I was a sophomore in high school to become the first high school boy to run into four minutes when just nine years before Dr. Bannister was the first man. And so he changed my paradigm. And so that would be part of what I would say. You know, Ned's been very generous with the comments, but Coach Timmons was one who helped mentor me into the extent of understanding that you could do something even after being cut from the church baseball team that would amount to you know, a great future. So don't be afraid to dream big. You're going to fail at something. So fail at something you like. And remember this, 
failure is just a temporary detour to success. So don't be afraid to try. And I believe that's where our country is. We're entering into another step forward. If we choose to make that, I choose to make that. I know mil millions of other Americans do as well. We want to return America to greatness. Beautiful words. Now I got to call my dad uh, after this, you know. Uh, but uh, Jim and Ned Ryan, uh, both thank you both for your your service, your Nothing comments, is. and for sharing your relationship and a special day with us on Fox and Friends. We appreciate it. Have a great Pete, Saturday. Thank you. Thanks, Pete. You got it. Thank you.